So normally you would see this finish here, material uh, burgundy brick. And uh, you might want to, and I highly encourage that you use a different material. Normally when you're doing a uh, project, you would like to specify the exterior texture and there are different sources. You want to uh, maybe go to a manufacturer and try to find out if they have certain materials that are available. So maybe you'd like to use this material here. Now, normally you'd like to make certain that you can tile the material or brick, in this case, properly. This edge here, when tiled, will connect to that edge. Okay, and how nicely would it connect? That's uh, one of the items that you'd like to consider. So you might want to select or type texture images. So texture image. Go to images. So these are random images that maybe will give you an idea of what is available. Okay. Maybe you'd like to use something like this. In our materials connection library uh, in Slate, you, you should be able to find there or uh, using the Sheridan College website. Okay, you can search for materials connection. So material, I think that's how they spell it. Materials connection, archive. Okay, I highly encourage you for your studio project to really go there and do some research. So it's uh, along this corridor, right? At the far end. Uh, there are different materials that you can find and uh, you can always search for a texture there as well. So maybe you can uh, say I'd like something similar to this and uh, the librarian there will help you select a material. Okay. So once you have, uh, you have selected the material, make sure you look for an item that will tile well. Okay. So let's say I want to use this. I'll say save image as. Okay. Maybe you'd like to save some other materials. Okay. Now, you'd like to try to make an uh, estimate of how big this would be. So is this a one tile or is this a, you know, a square meter? Okay, so you want to, and, and you can use this also for your site. Okay, so just take note that this will tile to cover your whole site or your whole wall area. So once you have uh, selected your brick or your outside wall finish, then you can go back here. Select your wall, okay. edit it and you might want to duplicate it for now so you can test the material maybe let's since this is a the material would like to change or the wall that we're uh, rendering so maybe you would like to select this wall instead edit the type duplicate i'll just say number two for now it's always nice to place your initials in front. 
okay and we're going to edit our material so the current finish is a combination of brick common and a brick soldier so we'll just say we'll edit that material so let me cancel out here go to our manage type manage tab materials and then we're going to look for that material right here so brick so we're using these two material types so we'll select one right click and duplicate so we've identified this we want to duplicate so that it's easy to find we'll use brick common and instead of one we'll just place our initial there okay so we've created the duplicate now we're going to edit the material so we're going to replace the material we are currently using with this material the first thing you want to do is go to appearance that's the burgundy brick we're using now currently this is using this asset the burgundy brick asset very important you want to duplicate this asset otherwise if you just change this to a different texture by clicking here and selecting the material so that's the location of your materials library program files okay now you want to go and maybe add this to your favorites first so materials library add to favorite materials to favorite so you can see that here okay so it will be easily uh, clickable so you can always go back to that location okay now once you have done that you have added this add current folder to places maybe add it also to places so there's that folder right there so you can go back to that folder now let's go to our D drive where we have saved our texture so let's say I'll just use this texture for now change that with the brick material current brick material so I'll change that and for the relief pattern relief patterns allows you to make your texture look more three-dimensional so normally they are gray scale images copy of your uh, main texture so you'll click here again go to your D drive select the same image later we'll change this to a grayscale in Photoshop for now we'll just make sure that we use the same image notice that it's styling so that's how it's going to look like when it tiles okay you have an example of how it looks look like here applied to a wall but uh, make sure did I duplicate looks like I didn't duplicate make sure I'll duplicate that okay and notice when I didn't duplicate it it is also applying the same material to the brick common hopefully I duplicated it first let's see how that will apply click apply okay see I didn't duplicate before I made the change that's why it also applied that texture to the brick common okay so uh, this one is replace this asset okay so you want to duplicate replace asset you're just 
going to open up the asset browser and uh, select a texture from the Autodesk physical assets. Okay. So duplicate allows you to just simply change this material. Now, since I didn't press duplicate, notice what happened to the brick common. It also applied that same texture. So that's why it's very important that you duplicate this first before making changes. So I got this applied uh, here in the duplicate material, but that also made a change here. Since I did duplicate, you can see that number one right there after I've changed it. So now what I need to do is go back here and back to my materials and go back to my burgundy brick. So if I can find it, I think it's that one right there. So view thumbnail. Okay, there it is. Burgundy brick. Bring it back. Now that we've duplicated the asset, notice that it's not changing our brick common. So go back here, materials, and bring back the gray relief. Okay. So usually you'll have an image and then a gray tone. Uh, of that same image. This will work like a relief pattern where the dark areas will uh, and the black, dark and white areas will make this more three or look or render more three-dimensional. Okay, so that's how you change the material, making sure that you duplicate the asset first. Okay, click apply. I now have two different materials, the brick common and the brick common that we have uh, applied some changes to. Let's do the same thing here. Brick soldier, since we're using that material as well. So again, duplicate. Okay, rename this. Add our initial. Okay, and this time before we make any changes, make sure you duplicate the asset. There you go. We're we're just using the name soldier burgundy, but in terms of assets, they are now different from the original. So that's burgundy without the number one and burgundy with the number one. So if you go to identity, that's the name of the material, okay? And uh, in terms of the asset, you can rename the asset right here. So if you don't want to see that uniform soldier bur burgundy one, you can rename it here. So let's say we're changing it to a certain mat other material. So I'll just name it SS2. You want to be more uh, descriptive in your naming your material. So if you're using a certain material, okay, you might want to use the same material Okay, this doesn't say anything really, so it's just a photo texture. But you can be more descriptive, descriptive in naming your material appearance. Okay. So you can change that there, change the description. Okay, and then again, now that you're sure that this is a different asset, different from your brick soldier course, so you're not in any way changing this. Okay, you have a different asset. Now you can click that name, okay, and then go to your folder, select the next texture, 
and make sure that you also change the relief pattern if you don't change the relief pattern the relief pattern that will be applied here will be the brick soldier course so you'll have a brick texture here that's actually might be nice if you want this pattern with a brick uh, pattern laid on top of it okay if you like that effect you may leave the brick soldier course pattern here so that's how that will look like click apply click ok and the next thing you'd like to do is select this edit type duplicate this click ok number two we're going to edit that change the material here so instead of brick soldier we'll use the material that we have created click ok and instead of brick common we'll select the materials that we have created click ok click ok okay so let's see how that will look like here so maybe we can duplicate this view so this is a uh, your 3d view you want to rename this to exterior perspective okay. and then let's just say I want to do a region render so I'll just open up my rendering dialog do a region render so I don't need to render the whole scene I just want to see the effect of the material that I have applied to this wall so select that area and do a quick render okay so you don't have to be using the same burgundy brick all the time you do want to select the texture you'd like to apply so next lecture is uh, let's uh, customize a brick pattern so it will look more nicely here so right now I'm just demonstrating how you can apply a different material to your wall so you're not constrained with this burgundy brick